Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at TJ Hummer, Frank Pinky Pinkerton, Charlie Cargo and Murphy the boot camp SUV the SUV boot camp recruits. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So TJ Hummer is a is a an Hummer H1 Frank Pinky Pinkerton is is a clever battle axe and Charlie Cargo and Murphy are an Emery Craft Inca and all four of them are off-road SUVs who attended the Sarge's boot SUV boot camp in Radiator Springs in oh, while Sarge uh, states mm, when he's finished with them they'll have mud in places they don't know that they don't have and TJ states that he had never been off road and, and, and when Sar and then Sarge replied that that was going to change so when Sarge told the other three SUVs, Charlie, Murphy, and Frank, to drop and give them 20 miles, and they already started, TJ turned around very slowly, and then he finally started, and complained that he got dirt in his wheels. And while TJ Hummer was voiced by Jan Rabson, who also voiced... Marco Axelbender, who I don't have, the other three SUVs, Murphy, Charlie, and Frank, had no speaking lines. Although, although, oh, however, in the Cars book, huh? Sarge's boot camp retitled Sarge's new recruit in the Sarge's new recruit in the in Cars storybook collection he came to Radiator Springs and he came he came to Radiator Springs although Sar and Sarge announced and uh, ordered him to join his training camp along with Luigi and Guido. Oh. Although TJ wasn't here for training, Sarge Sar the invitation w wasn't actually an invitation, it was actually an order. Although TJ was afraid that he, about getting dirty, he overcame his fears. Well, what do you guys think? Well, do you, rem do you remember the Cars story? Do you remember the Cars story? Sarge's new recruit from the Cars storybook collection? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Murphy, Charlie, and Frank didn't appear in Sarge's new recruit, just TJ. And now, without any further ado, let's get right into the review. First, we're going to start off with TJ Hummer. Here we've got his worried facial expression and his his headlights and grill and no tampos, just the side view mirrors and the off-road roof, the roof lights and the roof rack, which he can carry smaller cars like Luigi and Guido, for examples. Do they fit? 
Well, yep, they both. Well, yep, one small car fits, while another small car can fit. But unfortunately, there's one problem. The roof rack can only fit one small car. And on the left, so anyhow, on the left side, we've got his doors and his side view mirrors and his chrome gray rims. And on the back side, we've got his back doors and the, and we've got the license plate saying tough guy. And we got the tail lights and, and the mud flaps and and the and they're on the right side, similar design but completely different. And that is it. And now for Frank Pinky Pinkerton. You've got his sad facial expression, his black grill and the headlights and no tampos and just the pink paint job and the side view mirrors and the and on the top we've we've got the roof rack and we've also got the chrome silver bumper and the chrome silver rims and the doors and and on the tail lights we've got we and on the back we've got the tail lights and the and the trunk door and the license plate saying T J T37 slash 75 and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it for Frank now for Charlie now for Charlie Cargo Frank Pinky Pinkerton now for Charlie Cargo Here we have his nervous facial expression his black grill and headlights and the side view mirrors no tampos just the light green paint job and on the left side we've got his doors and his chrome gray rims and on the back side we've got the trunk door and the tail lights and the license plate saying 665F83 and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it for Chelly Cargo now for Murphy you have got his worried facial expression, his headlights and black grill and side view mirrors and the roof rack and the no tampos, just the orange paint job. And on the right side we've got his door on the left side we've got his doors and the chrome silver rims and on the back side we've got the trunk door and the tail lights and the license plate saying TWK seven zero two and on the right side similar design but completely different and that is it for the whole SUV boot camp foursome so during their diecast release they were released released in a five pack with Sarge and they and in 2018 they were re re-released as separate deluxes in 2018. And now let's compare them to, and let's pull up some of the other off-roaders. We've got Sarge and some other SUVs like Sir Miles Axelrod from Cars 2 and Nelson Blindspot. And now for the other Emery Crab vehicles besides Murphy or Charlie Cargo and Nelson Blindspot We've got T-Bone and Bill from Cars 3, who are a 1985 Emery Craft Lima. Timothy Two Strokes, who is a Emery, a putt, an Emery Craft putt. Timothy Two Strokes, who is a putt putt. Jonathan Renschwartz, who is a 1975 oxidizer. And finally, Vern, who is a modern Emery Craft Lima. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which SU off-roader is your favorite? 
which SUV is your favorite, and which Emery Craft vehicle is your favorite also. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and on my channel, and consider the support by viewing my channel for public watch hours, and leaving suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next, I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!